uh, Chance West Street, class of 2022. All right, Chance, first question. You're a guy from, from East Coast to West Coast. Talk to me about the journey and what's gotten you to this point here today. Um, the journey and what's gotten me to this point here today is that it's just working hard, countless hours in the gym, um, having my family 110% behind me and just doing what I love. Over the last year, especially this year, EYBL, you know, your name's really taken off. You've grown up, you've shown what you're capable of doing. Talk to me a little bit about some of the expectations you have for yourself, you know, coming into this year, playing on a national stage. Um, thanks for that. Just bringing that fight that I had in EYBL over to high school, um, not taking my foot off the gas and wanting to win and being labeled as a winner at the highest level. You touched on something that's key, you know, being labeled as a winner, right? Like, as a guard, college coaches and evaluators, everybody can score, mm -hmm. right? But can you make other people around you better? Can you, can you win ball games? And I think that that's something that your game, you do well. What are some of the things, other areas of your game you want to think on and work on while you're here at Hillcrest? Um, just being able to knock down an open jump shot um, over the summer, I showed I can make the open jump shot and making others better, that just comes natural to me. So getting this team and other players the shots that they need and finish around the basket and just to show I'm a true point guard is what I want to improve at. So obviously the, recruit, the recruitment's picked up. I've seen um, you know, Syracuse in the mix. I've seen some other guys in the mix. Talk to me a little bit, not necessarily where you're leaning or what you're looking at, but just how the process is, is going for you, who's recruiting you, who you talking to right about now? Um, I dropped my top 10. So all 10 schools that that um, is in the, the top 10 is who I'm talking to. Um, I stay in contact with those guys throughout the week and just building, building, building. What made you choose Hillcrest Black? Uh, great school, Arizona. Um, and I just love the West Coast and I love to work. All right, last question. I can see by your fit, you're tuned in and you're locked in with, with the culture, right? What does it mean to you to be playing with Dream Chasers on your jersey? You know, uh, an artist that you listen to, obviously to get hyped up for a game, you listen to Meek Mill, and now, you know, that, that's a representative of your, of your team. Talk uh -huh. to me a little bit about that. I'm from Pennsylvania. I live, I'm from Harrisburg, so Philly, like, two hours away, so. I go to Philly, North Philly, South Philly, and I'm hip to that, you know what I mean? Blue Notes too, McMill, the Chasers, like, grind for something, you feel me? Be a chaser or fall for anything.